okay? And that chemical energy has a name. It's called ATP. Now, if you took biology in high school, you've heard of ATP, <laughs> adenosine triphosphate. The energy is in the phosphate bonds. So ATP will give up its energy and go to ADP, diphosphate, which will then give up its energy and go to AMP, monophosphate, which will then finally go to adenosine. And adenosine binds to the adenosine receptor and makes you go to sleep. Mm -hmm. By the way, that's where caffeine works. It blocks the adenosine receptor, keeping you awake so that the adenosine can't bind to the adenosine receptor. Okay, so that ATP is the currency of the cell. That's what makes the cell run. Anything that depletes ATP is going to put the cell at risk, mm -hmm. okay? Because it doesn't have the energy it needs to run. Yeah, it's like it's gasoline. It's like cell. gasoline. So what happens when you start running out of gasoline? Well, you break down. You'll break down. Mm -hmm. So brain fog difficulty concentrating, irritability, and ultimately all the way to depression. So the amount of ATP within any given neuron is the uh, proximate cause of neuronal dysfunction that we see as neurocognitive and neurobehavioral change. Now, how do mitochondria and how do ROSs fit into this? Mitochondria make ATP, but every time they make ATP, they make, also make ROSs. There are 11 steps in mitochondria, and they all give off ROSs. Now, those ROSs are going to damage the cell. They have to be gotten rid of. They're like toxic fumes. They got to be gotten rid of. 